Morning, let's try this with the wind. Good morning, still morning. Here is where all those delicious oysters come from. Here are the nets with the oysters in. There also. And then uh, you can buy them right there with the stands. Yeah, very nice. She only wants to go into the water, but it's still low tide, so no water here. Yeah, as you can uh, see, we've left the uh, Kankale. Always nice to be there, eat oysters uh, right at the sea and out of the sea. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I love uh, I love being in Kankale. Uh, today is going to be uh, a longer, even a longer kilometer or kilometer kilometer wise. And uh, it's, I believe, 165. But there is a part highway in it, and uh, like an N uh, route, uh, partly. So uh, there are uh, bits that uh, yeah, make you go fast. <laughs> and um, yeah, we're gonna stop at uh, Armand Le Bain. Uh, same place uh, we stopped uh, on a trip back from uh, Spain last winter because uh, yeah it's convenient place distant wise and uh, it's also a big place so um, the chance of uh, being able to get the um, spot there is uh, quite good. So, yeah. <laughs> I was looking if uh, the Lexus uh, did not uh, just bump in uh, the other car. <laughs> but it uh, came close, but uh, he stayed clear of it. Yeah, it's Saturday today, so uh, in holiday season there are all kinds of markets and stuff going on and fairs and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, that would be a nice address to have a cup of coffee. But we just came from Gankale and uh, so we're going to drive on a bit. So yeah, let's see. Yeah, we're going to drive along uh, the coast for a bit. Even though the sea is low tide, so the sea, uh, the ocean is uh, quite uh, far. It's quite far out and... Um, And uh, yeah, we're at the bay where Kankala is at, um, at the top uh, north um, western part, and then we go south around the bay where uh, Mont Saint Michel. I can see Mont Saint Michel. I don't know if it shows in the video. It might be too far out, but um, Mont Saint Michel is in the southeastern part of the bay. So you 
now you've got a bit of a of a clue where we are driving and um, yeah then we're gonna go off the coast uh, and um, cut that uh, tip of uh, the northern Normandy uh, part up to uh, no man be By the way, we are, uh, <coughs> excuse me, on the Voie de Liberté again, the route of the liberation uh, of the Second World War. Yeah, this is Normandy, so to the left comes one of the bonus, the Marcus. A uh, short break and a cup of coffee. Rechts afslaan. Daarna meteen rechts afslaan. And then, uh, now we're uh, on the road again. Stop at uh, Hyper Intermarché. Because I wanted to uh, fill up, but... So, it's quite busy. Okay. That's nice. And um, also I uh, bought some stuff uh, at the store while I was here. <coughs> Let's open the window for Bo a bit more. <coughs> so yeah. By you. By you. It's not going to be a success. All the roadsides are full of camper fans and cars. Look at that. <laughs> Links afslaan. Back. Daarna meteen rechts afslaan. No, we're going to drive on. Just find uh, a more uh, quiet uh, spot. Rechts afslaan. Yeah, 
we are at Aromanche Le Bay. We walked uh, along the beach from the little town we were uh, parked up, of where we are parked up, and then uh, walked along the beach to this side. So yeah, it was a nice walk, but I think we'll have to wait a bit till the tide goes down because there are two uh, of those passing points where I don't want to be climbing up the the rocks so just wait till the tide goes down a bit it's about high tide now just should be around half past five quarter to six something like that and uh, look at the girls I'm not the only one always collecting uh, garbage from people so yeah so yeah I think we're gonna pass some time here wait till the tide uh, goes down a bit and then uh, we can start walking back. But yeah, I just stroll through uh, the town and then uh, then it's good. It is uh, high tide about half past seven. So yeah, I'm not gonna wait uh, for that. And then uh, an hour or two uh, after that. So we just kind of see how far we uh, get and then uh, we have to get uh, on the rocks where it's uh, not possible to walk uh, in the sea anymore. Up till now it uh, went reasonably uh, fine. We could uh, walk uh, quite long uh, along the shoreline and yeah, now we have to go uh, up here and continue this part because uh, yeah. We would have stayed on that patch of sand. We would have been uh, in the middle uh, at that <laughs> pier of rocks. Yeah. So just take this road. Yeah. <laughs> there is a pizza truck on this parking lot where we are. And I'll show you first because it started to rain. We just, because our marsh was so packed, just drove to the next village where the only camper van here and it's just two minutes walk to the beach where we uh, went to uh, Aramosh on the on the beach look where there was that uh, pizza guy she went in front again but um, yeah inside because it's raining um, I wanted to uh, order a pizza from the guy so I thought yeah and he's got uh, something to do too and he isn't standing there for nothing but you won't <laughs> guess, uh, I went over and I asked and he said uh, I can order a pizza but it won't be ready till 10 o'clock so yeah he doesn't need uh, my uh, pizza order <laughs> uh, I went to the supermarket so I've got things to make uh, to make dinner and I'm gonna do that but uh, yeah <laughs> the pizza guy I think he's got a good business now I understand why he has all those boxes uh, in the in front <laughs> <laughs> yeah I am gonna get a pizza anyway I'm so glad I just ate salad and a little piece of bread with it first because uh, yeah, he just waved me and uh, said I uh, oh, didn't see I was here in the van and uh, he'll uh, make one for me just in between so yeah that's nice of him so of course I couldn't say no thanks I already ate a salad but <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a cool thing about unexpected stuff pizza napolitana looks good it's definitely gonna taste good <laughs> thanks to the pizza guy